And with that, let me bring you the latest from U.S. politics. Both the sitting and former presidents Joe Biden and Donald Trump have announced their presidential bid for 2024. And there's a third contender too, all set to enter the fray. Florida's Republican Governor Ron DeSantis will formally enter the 2024 U.S. presidential election next week, becoming Donald Trump's main competitor for the Republican nomination. According to reports, DeSantis will likely file papers announcing his candidature on 25th of May to coincide with the donor gathering in Miami with a more formal launch in the week of 29th of May. Former U.S. President Trump has in recent weeks stepped up his political attacks on the Florida governor and maintains a commanding lead in the 2024 Republican primary, that too over Ron DeSantis. Here's a report. We say very clearly in the state of Florida, we will fight the war. Florida Republican Governor Ron DeSantis is set to officially enter the 2024 U.S. presidential race next week. That's according to two sources familiar with the decision, which would make DeSantis the biggest rival of former President Donald Trump for the Republican nomination and shake up a contest that has so far been largely one-sided. Sources say DeSantis will likely file his candidacy on May 25th, with a more formal launch the week of May 29th. Representatives for DeSantis did not immediately return a request for comment. Florida is where woke goes to die. Meanwhile, Trump has recently ramped up political attacks on the Florida governor and maintains a commanding lead in the 2024 Republican primary, according to a recent Reuters Ipsos poll. We're winning big, big, big in the Republican Party for the nomination like nobody's ever seen before. Those attacks have diminished DeSantis' standing in national polls. However, he's garnered a series of conservative victories in his state in recent months, including the scrapping of diversity programs at public universities and allowing permitless carry of concealed weapons. And most notably, banning nearly all abortions in the state of Florida. Let's try and weigh in on the timing of uh, DeSantis' potential announcement. And for that, I'm joined in by Crystal Knight, who's a Democrat strategist and joining me live from the United States. Crystal, thank you for joining in. At a time, his popularity is diminishing. What do you make of the timing of DeSantis' expected announcement? Well, I think what Ron, you know, Governor Ron DeSantis is doing, he is signaling not only to the voters across the state of Florida, where he's introduced many restrictive bills and really going actually more extreme than Trump becoming very anti-Semitic, anti-immigrant, um, anti anything that is cultural in his state. And he's really trying to take that message across the United States, making sure that voters understand that he is on par with the bad rhetoric and antics of a Donald Trump, but also willing to go a step further and challenge education across this country, challenging corporations across this country. And so we expected Governor DeSantis to announce. We did not know when, um, but I don't think that the timing um, is any you know, any surprise to anyone because it was coming already. All right.